Hello everyone, I'm here today to do a TBR and I don't do TBRs very often but Bert and Sean from Pastory Time, if you don't follow them you should go and follow them um, they organize a readathon in September, every September and this year I just felt like I wanted to participate so it's called Shorty September and it's basically about reading short books and they have prompts uh, that you can fill um, or you can just read short books. Um, I just checked my TBR and looked at all the short books I had and then picked books to fill the prompts that they have and some of them fit better than others but we're here to stretch the limits so uh, and that's that's the idea of the readathon and I was very excited to do it this year because I have been feeling a little bit overwhelmed by my TBR and I thought that getting um, quite a lot of books that are very short out of the way maybe it will motivate me a little bit more to uh, keep the pace so yeah that's that's what we're going to do today we're going to go through the prompts and i'm going to tell you which books i'm going to use for them um so the first prompt is pedro pascal's shorts an unexpected purchase now this is not a purchase because i haven't bought this book but it's a book that i was not expecting to want to read but i am going to read and that's foster by claire keegan so i read small things like this by claire keegan and i thought it was just fine and so I saw this going in the rounds and I was like, yeah, fine. I mean, a, a lot of people absolutely love small things like this. So a lot of people probably also do love Foster. But then I have seen a few reviews that say that Foster is actually better than like people that have not enjoyed small things like this have enjoyed Foster. And also it's on the finalist of the uh, Booktube Prize. So I thought, I mean, it's, I think it's like an hour and a half in audio. So I might as well. Um, the next prompt is Dolphin Shorts, a book with water on the cover and for that I'm going to use The Blue Sky by Cassian Xiong uh, which is a book that I chose for um, the Read Around the World project. A lot of these books are going to be Read Around the World project books. And this book is about um, the nomadic people of Mongolia and the juxtaposition with modern life. Um, so yeah, and this is one of the longest ones in this list which is 209 pages um, the next um, book is uh, Shorty Shorts uh, 70s 80s book uh, and for that I chose Territory of Light by Yuko Tsushima and this is about a woman in Tokyo with a three-year-old daughter that separates from her husband and it's like fragments um, and during the first year that she's separated uh, of how she feels about the separation and how her life is um, so yeah I thought that was interesting and that's gonna go there um, the next prompt is half and half read a book and watch the movie um, now I think this is a bit of a stretch because I don't know if there's a movie for it um, but I chose uh, to be totally fortunate by Becky Chamber which is a novella in one of her um, universe and I have read other books like Becky Chamber and really enjoy they also always have this sci-fi cozy feeling to them and I think there are some Becky Chambers books that have been made into movies so even if this particular one has not been I can watch another of the books that have been adapted from Becky Chambers and that I'm gonna count that because otherwise I don't have anything um, the next prompt is a book of magic or witchcraft spunk um, and again this is a bit of a, a stretch because I don't think this is actually a magical book but um, the one I chose is Sultana's Dream uh, by Rokeya Sakwad Hossein um, which I chose for um, I think it's Bangladesh uh, for Read Around the World project um, and it's a, a feminist utopia um, so it kind of reverses the, the gender roles or something like that and um, yeah it's Bengali um, yeah so I, I just thought that like utopia sounds like magic enough for me <laughs> that's my logic um, the next one is Hoochie Daddy's Shorts um, a spicy or read or a spicy biography I don't think again this is a stretch but um, I chose Yep, yeah, yeah, talk. Um, poems from a Marshallist daughter, 
which are supposed to be autobiographical so that's my loophole i don't think it's spicy at all probably it's not spicy but it's biography so it counts um see i told you at the beginning that these are going to be completely stretched it's fine uh lodge shorts is the next prompt a book you bought uh, to look cool and that is going to I'm going to say Invisible Cities by Italo Calvino um, I bought that book because Invisible Cities project and I just thought it was nice um, but also because Italo Calvino is kind of cool so that's why <laughs> um, the next prompt is denim shorts a modern classic for that i chose mother's beloved short stories uh, for from laos by ocean bon javon probably butchered that i'm sorry um, uh, because this is, was uh, written on 1999 and it's one of the most acclaimed um, writers from lagos so I think that sounds like a modern classic to me. Um, I don't know anything about literature in La Laos, so probably that counts. Uh, um, then Mom Shirts, A Comfort Read. I chose My Uros by Emil Thier Killing, uh, which, I mean, a lot of these books are for Read Around the World project. This one also is. Um, and this one is, again, a collection of poetry uh, by a Samoan writer and I chose this as a comfort read because I mean it's poetry which is normally not my comfort zone but at the same time poems are easy and fast to read so if you don't want to put a lot of like effort poems allow you to not do that if you don't want to other although you probably will appreciate them more if you do but yeah bending the rules um, then the next one is ripped shorts a mystery or a slasher um, again pushing boundaries here um, but I chose the long drive by Sinan Jones which is um, a Welsh author um, and I think this is like a a mystery so the description says when the farmer wakes at dawn he can already feel the heat of the day rising in silence from his wife hanging heavy in the air um, and then he goes try to find his missing cow and things happen um, everything's about to change there are twists and turns so I guess it's a mystery um, that's it. <laughs> um, then the next uh, prompt is Elizabethan shorts, a historical read. And I chose um, The Crossing by Luis Cardoso for this one, which is uh, an author from Timor Leste. And this one is in um, set in the area in the 1975, which historical. Okay yeah yeah maybe um and then the last the last prompt is leather hosen a translated book and i uh, for that one i chose the tra the traitor's niche by ismail kadare which is an albanian author and this book is set in the ottoman empire which is gonna be interesting as well um and that one does fit the prompt <laughs> finally one that fits the prompt properly um so yeah as you can see I have basically just chosen whatever I wanted and twisted enough so that it defeated one prompt. Um, but I'm gonna count that anyway. And all of these books, I think there are only two that are more than 200 pages, but they are less than 210 pages. Um, so even though they are 12, I'm hoping I can finish them all um, in the time frame. Um, and there are two of them are poetry which normally goes faster so we'll see i'm also thinking about maybe vlogging the experience also because i i have a big trip planned in september so maybe i can show you some of that but at the same time if i'm traveling probably it's gonna be busy and i know i'm not sure how much time i will have to film um, but we will have to see 
Let me know what you think about this list. If you are also participating in Shorty September, um, if you have any opinions about these books, if you have read any of them. And until next video, bye!